Good day everyone and welcome to Exile News, the weekly show brings you all the important news and informations on Path of Exile. And the first news we got this week is another set of answers to the Q&A which went or happened a couple weeks ago and these answers go up to page 25 so there might be uh, more parts to these ones. And I mean if you have some times I recommend you just giving a read especially if you're interested in uh, all random things there are uh, some very interesting questions for example are there any unknown undiscovered vendor recipes and will GGG create more there's also of course a lot of questions and since they span from one side to the other of pretty much everything about PoE I'm not going into the details but again uh, if you got a bit of little bit of time, I recommend checking those out. And also we got how GGG makes trailers. So it's been one guy making all the videos produced in-house by GGG for all of the recent videos. So this post kind of describes uh, the whole process of how a trailer gets made. You can see it starts from a placeholder draft, which is pretty interesting, and then there's assets which of course uh, gets created based on the needs for the trailer. So if the trailer needs a certain type of shot uh, showing some kind of assets, that's the first thing that gets made and other things get pushed further into the timeline. And you can see there's a lot of GIFs and very interesting parts like this here is uh, a special tool that developers have to modify the lighting and all the kind of stuff to create very nice shots and this is a kind of a camera tool which really lets uh, the video maker kind of make the video they want feels like using uh, with this comment feels like using Minecraft uh, camera mods if you ever use that and having an access to that will really make for some incredible videos one day maybe definitely not uh, GG priority and there's a, there's the whole process there's the editing and little kind of funny gif at the end so if you're interested in video making or just uh, in GGs in general definitely definitely recommend this post out much more interesting than the audio one uh, just because there's a lot of examples and it's really easy to follow along so yeah that's definitely a recommended news to check and the last news we got the w in the week is how GGG describes item mods and I expected something different when I read the title but actually it's how GGG writes uh, the mods on items so we know GGG has their own uh, things for certain rules and they always try to keep mods within one line trying not to have a line which is too long because on different resolutions it might uh, scale it weirdly and create orphan words like one single word for a line which is really odd and uh, is not really good to read so with the introduction of some jewels and some other uniques uh, they had to kind of split lines because for example with at least 40 dexterity in radius frost blades melee damage penetrates 15% cold resistance so since they cannot shorten it, uh, they kind of had to divide it and they had to divide it between the skill name so that you cannot read a single line and uh, think it does something else. For example, because there is people who actually read from bottom to top, so that might generate a weird reading if uh, each of those lines actually made a sense on its own. So yeah, that's how GG handles this kind of things, even the wise oak, uh, which has very very long sentences, doesn't really always make the player understand exactly how it works. For example, uh, it's not clear if having all, all of the resistances at the same value apply uh, the reduced damage to all of the resistances and the penetration to all of the resistances, and the post says it does, so it is in fact possible but uh, it, you, cannot, you do not understand it from the text itself even though the text itself is already long enough so I mean it's, it's actually a problem for uh, game design sometimes it's actually uh, really interesting like if you read it from, bottom to, from top to bottom 
uh, the Valentus Fury totally makes sense. Like you have Calling Strike, you gain Onslaught when you have Calling Strike, and you cannot be chilling while you have Onslaught. If you read it uh, from the bottom to top, it's kind of a thriller as they describe it. Sometimes the lines are of different lengths, but they actually fit very well into the item. For example, uh, Rush Caldor's Patience, it's kind of a triangle or a pyramid, and the mods tend to follow the same uh, thing. So, except for life and mana, which I guess are always at the top. But yeah, that was uh, a weird news. Actually, pretty interesting because it delves into something that we don't really consider too much about the game design and yeah ggg is definitely working on the 3.0 update right now that's why we we only got three news this week which were not um actually mtx news and speaking about mtx's uh the new supporter packs are going to come really soon because they will grant access to the beta or so chris wilson said so after that the beta is coming and well I guess within the next month uh, the beta will start for the 3.0 update so good luck to all of those who will be able to get into that and hopefully it will be an enjoyable thing and will not spoil too much before the actual expansion goes live so yeah that was all for this week if you enjoyed the video leave a like and a comment down below also if you want to remain updated every week be sure to subscribe to my channel so that was all I've been your host Zorzo and I'll see you guys the next time.